Welcome back to the channel folks. This is Jason, Certified Financial Planner and host of Fighting Words Financial. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Tesla Energy, the solar and battery storage business part of the company that really hasn't been getting a lot of attention lately and it really deserves it. Elon Musk himself is on record saying that Tesla Energy is going to become a distributed global utility that could one day outgrow the automotive business. I think that Q4 of 2020 was really the tipping point for Tesla Energy, and I think that that part of Elon's vision for a solar electric economy is closer to reality because of it. Now, I'm the first one to admit that I've called this side of the business uh, boring before, at least in past videos, and really because Lyndon Reed, Elon Musk's cousin, is one of the two co-founders of Solar City. When that acquisition happened, to me it looked a lot like nepotism, which I really didn't like at the time. That was of course until I dug a little bit deeper into the company history and I realized that Elon was always Solar City's principal financier and it was always in reality a part of Elon Musk's business portfolio. Also, it was always a part of the secret Tesla Motors master plan. If you don't know what I'm jokingly referring to, go back in time and check out Elon's Tesla blog entry from August 2nd of 2006. And this was before Elon was even the CEO of Tesla. I quote, the overarching purpose of Tesla Motors and the reason I'm funding the company is to expedite a move from a mine and burn hydrocarbon economy towards a solar electric economy, which I believe to be the primary but not exclusive sustainable solution. So 10 years later, Elon updates the secret Tesla Motors plan with Master Plan Part 2, in which he states, we must at some point achieve a sustainable energy economy or we will run out of fossil fuels to burn and civilization will collapse. Given that we must get off of fossil fuels anyway and that virtually all scientists agree that dramatically increasing atmospheric and oceanic carbon levels is insane, the faster we achieve sustainability, the better, and here's what we plan to do to make that day come sooner. The very first step in Master Plan Part 2 is Tesla's intention to integrate energy generation and storage. The very first product that he mentions in Master Plan Part 2 that will push us towards a solar electric economy is a smoothly integrated and beautiful solar roof with battery product solution. The product will empower the individual to be their own utility. Tesla takes care of installation, the service contract, and everything is controlled through a phone app. Of course, the intention was to scale that product throughout the world and to become a global distributed utility. This is when Tesla Solar Roof, Powerwall, and Tesla Solar Panels were born. It was an exciting announcement that did not immediately lead to any exciting developments. In fact, you could say that what happened next was just downright boring. Many investors, and I have to admit this included myself, uh, thought that at the time it looked like a very expensive bailout of Elon's cousin's company. The energy side of the business after the acquisition of Solar City really seemed to go nowhere for a couple of years. But after years of decline and stagnation, 2020 really was the year that the company started to turn its solar business around, and very surprisingly, its energy storage business has been smashing records every quarter. And I think that fourth quarter of 2020 really represents the tipping point at which we're going to see by year's end the energy side of the business start to catch up with the automotive side in terms of the share of revenue. And within a couple of years, I think that Tesla Energy will actually have a higher growth rate than the automotive side of the business. Let's talk a little bit about why I think that and what that means in terms of numbers. In Q4 of 2020, Tesla Energy revenues amounted to 752 million, which is a new record. The energy portion of the business is showing a loss overall, but that is partly because of the money that's going back into scaling production to meet overwhelming demand. Tesla Energy actually accounted for 7% of the total revenues for Tesla in the quarter. What this means is that Tesla Energy is already a $3 billion per year business, putting it on par with some of the largest solar panel producers on the planet like Jinko Solar that had $4.2 billion of revenues in, in 2019 and JA Solar which had $2.98 billion of revenue in the same year. Now these companies can't really be compared directly to Tesla Energy since they're not committed to energy storage like Tesla Energy is, but from the numbers you can tell that Tesla Energy is now a player and it's not just some upstart pretender. The growth of Tesla Energy is being driven by their battery energy storage business and let's face it, it's simply booming. Grid scale energy storage Tesla Mega Packs actually drove energy storage business up to a new record of over three gigawatt hours in a single year for 2020. But here's a quick rundown of what Tesla energy storage deployed. Total battery energy storage delivered for all storage products, Powerwall, Powerpack, and Mega Packs significantly accelerated. 
Q4 installations reached 1,584 megawatt hours, representing quarterly year-over-year -year growth of 199%. And for the whole year, 3.022 gigawatt hours represents an 83% year over year growth. Tesla noted that growth was driven mainly by the popularity of their Megapack product, which is the three megawatt hour energy storage for utility. They also noted on the call without giving a whole lot of detail that demand for Powerwall, the home energy storage solution continues to increase. I think it's pretty important to note that Tesla's energy storage business right now is actually supply constrained. They're not able to make enough to meet demand. They're having difficulty producing and acquiring enough battery cells to keep up with the increased demand. This of course is not unique to Tesla and is a worldwide issue right now. The company is increasing battery cell manufacturing capacity as we speak and plans to continue to expand capacity well into 2021. Tesla offers several types of energy storage solution products, the power wall for home installations, the power pack for commercial installations, which has a capacity of up to 230 kilowatt hours, and the three megawatt hour mega pack for utility grid scale applications. According to a statement made by the company, demand is not an issue for Tesla energy. While the company continues to achieve astronomical growth on the automotive side, the energy business is not experiencing any downtime. The increasing growth rate shows sustainable energy solutions are being sought across the world instead of fossil fuel driven options. The transition to sustainable energy is undoubtedly alive and well. Tesla is establishing itself as more than just a name tied together with fast, fancy and efficient cars. So yeah, the vast majority of revenue right now comes from Tesla's automotive business. But if you're paying attention, Tesla's energy business is rapidly becoming a global force all on its own. Tesla's Q4 results are aligned with Elon's vision of Tesla's energy business growing to around the same size as its automotive side. Part of that is due to the declining cost of solar panels. Elon Musk told Clean Technica in an interview that Tesla was able to cut out a lot of the soft costs of solar. He stated in that interview that solar panel cost is only about 50 cents per watt. Mounting hardware, inverter, and wiring is roughly 25 cents per watt, and installation is around 50 cents per watt, depending on system size. Other solar companies are spending heavily on salespeople advertising in complex financial instruments, and we do not. The bottom line here is that Tesla's energy business isn't very profitable now, but it will be within a few years. They're building out their manufacturing capacity and they're sacrificing some short-term gains in order to establish themselves in the market. I think that Tesla is in the process of building a solid wall right now around eventual high market share in the energy storage solution business. I think that more and more utilities, businesses, and regular folks are gonna start seeing Tesla as a viable option for their own personal home energy or business energy storage solutions. I think that the next couple of years are going to be very good indeed for Tesla Energy. As always, folks, these are just my thoughts after doing some research. Feel free to tell me how wrong you think I am in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you.